Okay, ladies and gents, we're going to be looking at section one of learning game C for the mock. Now, this is, I've just titled it as an introduction. Shouldn't really take that much to, uh, that much time to do. Um, here's the example of the person that got um, a merit. I'm just going to go up and find it for you. There, no. Here it is. Okay, so it's basically this here. Now, remember, this person got a merit, so I'm going to give you the pointers uh, that you need to to do much better than this. So, um, having created a dashboard, uh, you must now consider how the dashboard can be used to help the end user to draw meaningful and accurate conclusions. So you're going to say, you're basically going to paraphrase what I've just said there, and I'm going to say, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do now. Done the dashboard now, I've applied many data manipulation methods, validation checks, and so on and so forth. I'm now going to say, okay, in this report, in this document, what my findings were and what I used to help me get to those findings and get to my conclusions and my recommendations. And you need to mention that, you know, which whichever ones are appropriate to you. Now, some of you may have only done pie charts or just line chart, or line graphs or bar charts or cluster charts. You want to identify as many as you can, explain each one. Now, at this point, you don't need to break it down, as in you don't need to screenshot anything, you don't need to show anything. This is just a summary, a brief overview. So you're going to say, look, I've done formulas as well. Some examples include averages and minimums and maximums. You're going to say that you've used conditional formatting, data validation techniques, yeah, um, such as drop-down lists. And these are all there designed to help, um, one, you to analyze the data Two, make the data useful and turn it into information. Three, help you identify the patterns and trends, which is what you're going to be looking at in section two. And once you can see the picture, the patterns and trends, it becomes much easier for you for you to go back and say, look, here's what needs to be done. Here's what you're doing fine and great, but here's where you're really short, falling short. And here's why I'm saying that. The numbers don't add up or the, you know something's dipped, something's gone down or whatever it might be. So that's what you're trying to do. This is just a small brief overview. You must use as many of these words as you can. As I said, it's just a summary as to what you're about to do in this document. Okay, you shouldn't take any more than say 10 or 15 minutes in this section.